Hunt will get the chance to audition for the Queensland Reds playmaking role tonight when the 2011 champions host the Crusaders in a super rugby trial. Coach of the Reds, Richard Graham, joins us now from Brisbane. Uh, Richard, good to see you. Talk us through the thinking behind playing Carmichael at number 10. Yeah, morning, Megan. Yeah, Car Carmichael uh, was the obvious choice. Um, you know, obviously unfortunate with Quaid being out uh, injured for a number of months uh, and we trialled a young guy there, Duncan, uh, last week. I, I thought there were some real positives out of his performance but uh, the pre-season gives you an opportunity to uh, look at a number of different options and Carmichael, there, there aren't many guys you'd throw it to but Carmichael certainly uh, a lot of confidence, a uh, broad number of experiences obviously and I just think uh, mental resilience, a kid who made his debut at 17 in the NRL, youngest ever, uh, has played in the Heineken Cup final, kicked a, a goal for the Suns after the siren to give them a win. So he'll handle it very, very well tonight. Well, uh, Eddie Jones has labelled your decision as crazy. Uh, what do you say to that? <laughs> uh, oh, look, not, not a great deal. You know, the, the people who obviously know most about it are those involved. Uh, in the Reds organisation. So you know, I know there's going to be a lot of pin opinion and critics, but at the end of the day, my job's do obviously the best that I can here. And uh, the boys got a lot of confidence in Carmichael's preparation this week. OK, well, if Carmichael does uh, perform well tonight, has he leapfrogged at James O'Connor as the man uh, to fill in for Quade Cooper while he's out injured? Well, that, that's certainly uh, a decision I'll make next week when I look at all the options available to us. But uh, there's, no, there's no doubt a, a good performance by uh, Carmichael there tonight uh, helps the Reds. And that's, what, that's what's important in the pre-season, just referencing where we're at as a team. And uh, you know, following last week's performance up in uh, Cairns, which was very difficult, in, in difficult conditions, about 94% humidity, thought our, our forwards in particular performed well. And for us, it's about evolving a number of uh, aspects of our core game tonight. OK, well, say uh, that does happen, say that uh, Carmichael does uh, step in. Where does that leave O'Connor? We know he's been uh, ill this past week, but uh, where does he fit into the framework? Yeah, well, certainly coming back to Australia, um, you know, I said that I thought he was the best winger in the world in 2010 and certainly left the 2011 World Cup as a winger with, uh, you know, an enhanced reputation. So first and foremost, uh, I got my eyes on him there. But at the, the same time, you know, the world changes very, very quickly. And, uh, you know, I'm open-minded. So I'll see what uh, fits best for us going into round one next week. As for uh, Quaid, uh, how is his recovery coming along? Uh, could we see him back any earlier? Well, uh, I'd like to think so. I've obviously uh, had a number of conversations with the surgeon and the medical team to push that. Uh, Quaid, Quaid's very diligent, looks after himself very, very well. So he's about uh, two weeks now post-operation. Uh, we're looking at about a 10-week recovery. Uh, but, you know, we, with Quaid, as I say, works very hard off the field and uh, we'll do his best to get him back quickly. All right, Richard, uh, James Slipper, he's got a big season ahead as the new skipper. Uh, what has the response been like from the rest of the squad, uh, in particular some of the uh, senior players? Yeah, hugely positive. A uh, huge level of respect. You know, as a young guy, he's played uh, 65 games for the Reds and 63 tests. So it says a lot about uh, the guy that he, he made his debut as a youngster and has been very, very consistent over those last four or five seasons. He deserves the opportunity on the back of not only the way or the statistics that I've just said, but also the way he conducts himself, his preparation. Very fortunate that uh, Horwell and Genia have been uh, strong supporters uh, in these past few weeks, as has obviously Simmons and Hunt as vice captains of the side. You mentioned uh, Genia there. He's been uh, back in the headlines this week uh, with talkies. Could be making the move to play in France. Uh, can you shed any light on perhaps a potential deal? No, not at this stage. Yeah, the QAU have uh, made a policy that we don't speak about contracts. Um, you know, Jim Carmichael came out in the media the other day and was quite clear about that. Now, as for Will, uh, he's certainly come back from the European tour in a really good frame of mind. His wife uh, had just given birth to a, a young girl, Olivia, and uh, what I saw last week, uh, you, know, you could see Will getting back to his very, very best. All right, we wish you uh, the best of luck tonight, and uh, we do appreciate the chat. Richard Graham. Thanks, Megan.